right. Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome to uh, the Pedro Head Life. And today we are going to be unboxing a... Looks like it's called a Dark Keep HD Action Cam 4K DV. Um, this is one of the those uh, $29 uh, imitation or let's say budget minded 4K action cameras like uh, your typical GoPros and stuff but I actually think they come in a in a much nicer case I've opened this one just to see what the what it looked like because the box that I received from Amazon was so heavy that I couldn't believe it was just you know a little action cam expecting something like um what you get when you go buy a GoPro, which I've bought GoPro in the past. I haven't had one in uh, probably four or five years. But uh, this one comes in a nice shipping box. But look what all comes in it. It looks like a high dollar travel shaving kit. Pretty decent, firm, not hard case, but firm case. To keep everything in it safe but then I haven't unwrapped anything it's still all wrapped and stickered up but you open it and stuff just falls out of it you don't get this with the leading brand I forementioned in the video but I mean you get you know straps uh, I guess this would be a wrist strap or it's some kind of velcro strap of course, you get that with GoPros. I'm not going to say you don't. Uh, this looks like your head head mounting strap, but it's some more Velcro straps. Uh, you get lanyards and zip ties. And the feature, well, let me go through some of this other stuff. You're going through the box the first time as I'm going through it. Um, I did kind of glance to see what you get. But you get a double battery charger. There's one battery. I suppose the other one's in the camera. We're fixing to check that out. But it was supposed to come with two batteries and a double battery charger. I'm trying to find the cable. And it's uh, your basic micro USB. You can plug it into your computer and charge it or uh, any charging block. Put that in there. Oh. And um, you get all different kind of attachments. But before we get too far into the attachments and the uh, extra attachment kit ordered, let's check out this camera. They uh, send you a lens cleaning kit with it. It's uh, very well protected. It's got a clear film on the outside protecting the clear case as well on the inside on the monitor as I can see uh, there's one on the lens and one on the inside of the casing on the lens protecting the lens they want it to be very protected for you when they ship it but I mean it's all your basic stuff that you get with the other action camera I mean, it's all the same setup and same format. Looks like you probably use all the same attachments. But let's open this camera up, this case here. Sure is, it is all wrapped up nice. I mean, it's Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, everything. All right, now let's open the cap, the bottom of it, see where the other battery is. Yeah, it came with two batteries. Tell me you get that with the other brand for as much as you pay for uh, 10 times the price, $29 for this whole set, and we hadn't even scratched the surface yet, but it comes with two batteries and a dual charger. That alone with the other brand is nearly four times the price of the camera.
if you buy their brand. Let me turn it on and see if it'll power up. The quality looking at it. Man, the clarity and the quality on the LCD is just as good as any of the old 3 and 4 series. I haven't owned a 5 series yet or up, but if y'all can check that out. Let me move it this way. So The quality is nearly, if not the same as any four black that I own, four plus black. And I will turn it back on in a minute and put the, uh, put the action card in it. But I will tell you this, when it turns off and turns on, the opening screen is very similar. The software is not the same, but the graphics that it shows are nearly identical to the leading brand. So this may have the looks and the casing without the logo and the branding of the major company. And most companies use suppliers these days to build everything and put their brand on it. So what we're looking at here might not only be a knockoff, but might actually be the same technology and same everything. Because, I mean, there are no differences in sizes of the camera, the attachments, or anything. So, but you get the same waterproof case. And before I do any testing or go out and make any videos... I'll take all the coverings off. But, um, this looks like it may be a visor or a hat bill clip on or something. It's got, it, it has a ton of attachments here in this carrying case. A ton. Your standard extension bracket. Your remote control. That's probably what the wrist strap was for. I showed you a while ago. That's on most of them that I've owned, that was an extra charge, but it comes with. The six and sevens, I'm getting a warning light. So I will be having to make another video here in a minute. And here are some weird brackets I've never seen with GoPros. But they're flat and they're also, not only do they stick, but they have like Velcro straps too where you don't have to stick, use, them, use the sticky on them. A handlebar mount. I've never gotten that with any GoPros I've bought. Another extension. Another extension. Another one. Another one. Oh! The regular blackout case. I've had to always buy that separate. An extra glass door. Clear door. Trying to go through this as quick as possible. Well, for this cat, well, here's the features. Same features. Uh, your instruction manual on your remote. See, it tells you how to use each bracket and each 
the different configurations you can use. And I do have the brand name on the order form. And I may be posting it in the video when I do this, when I splice all this video together. But that's all it says. It doesn't say any brand name on there, but it did on the tag. So, I'm going to be splicing in the kit, the action kit, to see, show you what all's in it for way less than one attachment what it cost. So, I'll be back in a few minutes. All right. This is the accessory kit. It just comes in a black bag and another casing, just like the other one, except a lot larger. This is supposedly has the car mount, the chest mount, the head mount, Ooh, the floaties. There's the little float that goes on your case. It's like a selfie stick mount, like for a cell phone. Yep, there's the car mount, the suction cup car mount. Yeah, that one's gonna have to be ripped. Check that out. I may be upgrading to the the higher the higher brand, but for now, I will be testing this one. Cause I mean, this was like a twenty dollar kit. You you can't buy one of these attachments of the other brand. It, it's better quality, and yeah, with the attachments, you pay for what you get. But I mean, for an entire kit of this size, for around 20 bucks, to get you started, you can't beat that with one attachment of the other brand. I'm not brand bashing, I'm just comparing by price. Trying to hurry up where it doesn't make as long of a video. Because I don't have video editing software to cut and splice most of this stuff. This must be the head mount. It's some kind of padded bracket. Oh, this is your wristband. Cool was that? And it has a Velcro strap to tighten it. But that's your wristband. I have to work on some angles with that. Driving angles. That would be cool. And a lot of your other standard attachments. Here's a clip. Like a flat black bracket that's a clip that the camera goes on. Hmm. I have to read up on a bunch of these. Oh, it's got a bracket in here for me to wire it to a dog if I wanted to. Maybe some videos with uh, Tucker, the Boxer Bulldog Mix. And of course, the chest and head brackets. Helmet brackets, car brackets, handlebar brackets. Wrist bracket. The dog bracket is cool. <laughs> Some of it fell out.
There's your um, floating selfie stick for water shots. In case you drop it in the water and it floats. It doesn't come with a good selfie stick at all. It comes with like your basic dollar store. I've got a bunch of these in the house that was given to me. That were given to me and the kids. I mean, I am going to have to buy a higher quality selfie stick and arm. But there's the headband. Well, oh. there's the harness. Oh, and a flexible tripod. These can be, these flexible tripods can even be wrapped around other kind of beams and brackets and stuff in your car for different angles. I mean, you can get it up in your headrest like that and it will grip on and stabilize and you can run it like that. Look at that. So that's a cool little tool to have. Well, that's the unboxing. Now to go test it and do a review video. But uh, this video was taken with a Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus, and that's become that has become a very popular social media camera since its debut because as you see every time I move it has a feature called selfie focus and live focus it does great cinematic focuses on its own so I'm going to go test this here in the next couple days maybe even that maybe even this afternoon uh, in the Z06, Project Z06. And um, I'm gonna be using this uh, camera, hopefully for some of the contact after combat videos as well. If um, you're a veteran or a family member who's lost a veteran, uh, go to that uh, YouTube channel as well, or uh, go to the website first, www.contactaftercombat. Dot com. Um, contact me on all the social media formats on there. But uh, for now, if you want to keep up with what's going on with the petrol head life on this channel and RC channel and anything fast and cool and just gadgets, click subscribe down below, like, and stay tuned for family fun with me and the kids. Uh, and some of the projects we're going to be doing in the future, possibly on the Dodge Grand Data Van and on Project Z06 2001 Corvette. There's Project Z06 sitting covered up. It's been rainy here in Alabama for about three weeks straight, and it found some links on its own, and I'm trying to get the interior dried out and keep it covered, but... The last three days, it's been quite nice and sunny here. It's on the suction cup mount. I powered it on. I hit record. We're going to do a standard video and go for a ride. And then I'm going to post it to this, make an ending clip, and, you know, let y'all be the judge of what you think of a $29 4K camera. It's on the suction cup mount. I powered it on. I hit record. We're going to do a standard video and go for a ride. And then I'm going to post it to this, make an ending clip, and, you know, let y'all be the judge of what you think of a $29 4K camera.
need it every day, look. Say something, man. Try to smoke and not a drink, look. But I've been redeemed now. So I had to change now. But I got to see now. I'm about to go insane now. Woo! Break that pressure, let me say you really right. You think this way. You can check the magic soul that you can see my pretty face. Only one way in the way is through my son. I'll be fine. Do some battles when it's already won. Yeah, talking to my fans. They say, really? They say, yeah. Well, I guess it only matters if it's true. Jesus ran at me when I was down, so now I aim at you. Woo! I will run around the I will run 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 the I will All right, so we're going to take another ride. I'm testing out the 4K 25 frames per second right now. The other one was 1080 60 frames. So 1080p at 60 frames was the other video. So right now, we're going to go pick up the kids. And while we're driving, we're going to test the 4K. I'm using the visor clip. I may take a better ride later. Let me pull over. I don't like this angle.
And as you can see, the video here was a little bit choppier because uh, of the low frame rate at 4K. It would probably get a lot better quality if I had it on the outside of the vehicle at 4K rather than as far back as I had it trying to look through the windshield. I'll test that in a little different way um, here in the next few days. But for now, this should be pretty cool. It looks pretty good, I mean, for, like I've said before, for what you pay for it.
satisfaction. Uh, bye, All right, that's the first video of the first drive. Just around a couple mile loop, uh, just around the block or so. And uh, let me know what you think of this budget camera in the comments below. Uh, like I said, if you like this channel, subscribe, click, follow, and uh, watch out for more gadgets and more reviews. And I'm going to do better videos of this, but for now, that's just kind of testing the quality of what it is. Um, if you like the music that was playing in the background, it's a friend of mine, Jarrell Cromartie. Jarrell 1031 is the name of the album. If you dig the music, it is a Christian rap, Christian hip hop, uh, and I know uh, several guys that do it in the area too. Guys that I, you know, spend a pretty good bit of time with. Uh, holler at me or holler at him. Uh, I'll put the link in the comments, and uh, I'll even download the uh, Amazon download link and some of the other links on YouTube and everything else. But uh, uh, Jarrell is a great guy, great talented artist, and uh, he's moving back to Atlanta soon to get uh, get a little bit of leverage on the music. So uh, I wish him luck and hope he sees this shout out. But uh, Jarrell 1031 is the name of the album, and I will put the link down in the down in the column. God bless y'all. Have a great day. Hold up.